टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द टॉपिक्स एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर केमिकल बॉन्डिंग एंड पीरियोडिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन मल्टी इलेक्ट्रॉन एटम विच आर द फॉलोइंग ऑर्बिटल्स डिस्क्राइब्ड बाय द थ्री क्वांटम नंबर्स विल हैव सेम एनर्जी इन द एब्सेंस ऑफ मैग्नेटिक एज वेल एज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड्स विच आर द फॉलोइंग ऑर्बिटल्स हैव सेम एनर्जीज सो एनर्जीज कैन बी फाउंड बाय द वैल्यूज ऑफ एन एंड देन एल सो इफ एट ऑल एन प्लस एल वैल्यू if n plus l value is same is same then we can say the energy of orbitals are same let us take the options one by one if we take the first option the value of n is 1 and then l is 0 means here the value of n plus l is 1 when you take the second one here the value of n is 2 value of l is 0 therefore the value is equal to 2 if we take the third one here third one value of this is n is equal to 2 n is equal to 2 l is equal to 1 we have therefore n plus l value is 3 we have if you take the fourth one n value is 3 l value is 2 therefore the value is equal to 5 and finally in fifth one n value is equal to 3 and then l value is equal to 2 again same thing we have the value is equal to 5 so in then fourth and fifth cases values of n plus l are same that implies those two orbitals will be having same amount of energy so energy of the orbitals is decided by n plus l values therefore option is d in this case option is d we have then next one for a principal quantum number n is equal to 4 total number of orbitals having l value 3 total number of orbitals having l value 3 l value 3 that implies so l value 3 means it is f sub level l value 3 means it is f sub level because l is equal to 0 l is equal to 0 will be s sub level l is equal to 1 will be p l is 0 is s sub level l is equal to 1 it is p sub level l is equal to 2 is d sub level they gave l is equal to 3 it is f sub level and f sub level contains 7 um, orbitals in that f sub level has 7 orbitals therefore answer is option b we have then next one so that is b option here third one the following quantum numbers are possible for how many orbitals the given the quantum numbers we have to see for how many orbitals these values exist now n value is equal to 3 l value is equal to 2 when you say l value 2 here that comes for d sub level so we have d sub level and then for d sub level we have all together five values of m so m is equal to plus 2 so therefore actually m values will be minus 2 it is a minus 1 0 plus 1 and then plus 2 these are the five values of the m which indicate the five orbitals and they are given as value of m is equal to plus 2 therefore it indicates only one orbital therefore when m is equal to plus 2 it indicates only one orbital so answer is a so here the answer is a now then the wave number of the first emission line in the atomic spectrum of hydrogen in bamer series it is a first emission line that to in the bamer series we have the rydberg's equation nu bar is given by r into it is 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square we have when it comes to bamer series the value of n1 is equal to 2 for bamer series n1 is equal to 2 and then when you say first emission line the value of n2 is equal to 3 so for bamer series n1 is 2 for first line n2 is equal to 3 substituting the values here which is equal to 
r into it is 1 by 4 minus 1 by 9 which is equal to r into it will be 5 by 36 so the answer is 5r by 36 we have so option is d so Rydberg's equation is r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square and for Balmer series value of n1 is equal to 2 and uh, for first emission line the value of n2 is equal to 3 substituting these values we get 5r by 36 so answer is option d we have option d next one the ionization energy of ionization energy of hydrogen atom is 13.6 electron volts what will be the ionization energy of the helium now the first ionization energy that is ionization energy of he plus is equal to 13.6 into z square where z is a atomic number or number of protons which is equal to 13.6 into z is equal to 2 for helium z square is equal to 4 therefore the value is equal to 54.4 so many electron volts this will be ionization energy of helium so option is b option so the formula of ionization energy is equal to 13.6 into z square z is equal to atomic number of the uni electronic species that is z is equal to 2 2 square is 4 13.6 into 4 so 54.4 we have so answer is 54.4 that is option b we have then which of the following is correct order of the size in the iodine species the order of the size when you take anion anion size will be always larger than neutral atom and cation size will be always smaller than the neutral atom because anion is being formed by addition of electrons and cations are being formed by removal of electrons so therefore finally the order of size anion will be larger when compared to neutral atom that is going to be larger when compared to cation so option is d we have so option d is the answer in this case so option d we have then comes seventh one ice the isoelectronic with co the ion with isoelectronic isoelectronic word stands for having same number of electrons let us see the electrons present in co first co means atomic number of carbon is six plus of oxygen is eight therefore we have here 14 electrons in co now coming towards o2 minus o2 means we have 16 electrons here o2 minus is present o2 minus is present here therefore add one more electron for that it comes out to be 17 then o2 minus means then n2 plus n2 will have 14 electrons n2 plus will have 13 electrons in that because we are removing an electron from that o2 plus will have o2 is having 16 electrons here o2 plus will have only 15 electrons then now so o2 is having 16 and o2 plus will have 15 electrons here cn minus carbon that is a cn minus carbon has six electrons nitrogen has seven electrons minus charge is there plus one more extra electron therefore total number is 14 here now hence um, the co has 14 electrons and cn minus is also having 14 electrons hence the co is isoelectronic with uh, cn minus hence option is d so simply we are writing here the atomic numbers if they have a charge minus adding electrons if they have a charge plus removing electrons in that way we can find out the number of electrons in the given species so answer is option d we have then comes eighth one which of the following is going to have maximum number of unpaired d electrons maximum number of unpaired d electrons in the case of d block elements we need to remove electrons first from s orbital then followed by d orbitals let us take the option a first so for a zinc atom atomic number is 30 and therefore configuration is a 
फोर एस टू थ्री डी टेन वी हैव नाउ वेन यू टेक जेड एन प्लस टू रिमूव इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम एस आर बिटर जेड एन प्लस टू इज हैविंग थ्री डी टेन देन नाउ दिस इज द ऑप्शन ये वी हैव वेन इट कम्स टू ऑप्शन बी एफ ई प्लस थ्री नाउ एफ ई एटॉमिक नंबर इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स मीन्स इट विल बी फोर एस टू थ्री डी सिक्स वी हैव एंड एफ ई प्लस थ्री रिमूव थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट इज टू फ्रॉम यस एंड देन वन फ्रॉम डी हैंस इट विल बी थ्री डी फाइव देन द ऑप्शन सी एफ ई प्लस टू एफ ई प्लस टू मीन्स रिमूव टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम एस देर फॉर इट विल बी थ्री डी सिक्स एंड ऑप्शन डी क्रोमियम क्रोमियम एटॉमिक नंबर इज ट्वेंटी फोर देर फोर कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज फोर एस वन थ्री डी फाइव फॉर क्रोमियम एंड सी आर इज प्लस टू स्टेट रिमूव टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट इज गोइंग टू बी थ्री डी फोर न क्वेश्चन इज मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ अनपेड डी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो डी फाइव विल हैव मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ये सो देर फोर आंसर इज एफ ई प्लस थ्री सो इन डी आर बिटॉल्स और डी सॉरी डी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर रिमूव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्रॉम एस आर बिटॉल देन ओनली इट शुड बी फॉलोड बाई डी आर बिटॉल्स सो आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी वी हैव देन नेक्स्ट वन विच आर दी फॉलोइंग ऑक्साइड्स इज नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड टू रिएक्ट विद सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सो सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड नेचर इज बेस सो इट कैन रिएक्ट विद एनी अदर बेस इट कैन रिएक्ट ओनली विद द एम्फोटेरिक एंड एस्टिक ऑक्साइड्स इफ यू सी दीज ऑप्शन बी ई वो इज एम्फोटेरिक इन नेचर बी टू ओ थ्री इज ए नॉन मेटालिक ऑक्साइड इट इज एसिडिक नेचर एंड एस आई ओ टू इज ऑल्सो एसिडिक इन नेचर ओनली सी ए वो इज कमिंग अंडर मेटालिक ऑक्साइड विच इज ऑल्सो बेसिक इन नेचर सिंस बोथ ऑफ दम आर सेम नेचर दिस इज नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड टू रिएक्ट विद कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड विद रिमेनिंग थ्री हियर द सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड कैन रिएक्ट देर फोर आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी वी हैव सो ऑप्शन सी इज द आंसर हियर नेक्स्ट हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड इज स्ट्रांगर इन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड डिपेंड्स अपॉन द इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी ऑफ द एटम अटैच टू हाइड्रोजन among these four options given to us we have fluorine here fluorine is having higher electronegativity when compared to oxygen or sulfur or nitrogen here and therefore this will be option c will be having high stronger stronger hydrogen bond so option c because of higher electronegativity of the fluorine so answer is option c then which of the following has highest ionic character highest ionic character if you observe the options all have same anions that is cl minus anions so now we need to see the cations then so whichever cation is larger in size that is going to always have more ionic character therefore na plus cs plus is there here k plus and li plus so cs plus ion will be larger in size among all these four cations therefore cs cl is going to have highest ionic character so when all cations are same we need to see sorry when all anions are same we need to see the size of the cation so larger size cation is going to have always higher ionic character therefore option is b in this case now so that is a cscl is the answer then the shape of ammonium ion is the shape of any ion depends upon hybridization as well as followed by number of lone pairs and then bond pairs present in that so now when you take ammonium ion structure that is to say ammonia nh3 and then ammonium ion so it is going to form a coordinate covalent bond with hydrogen so therefore finally we have here four bond pairs are present and zero lone pairs when or when when a molecule has four bond pairs and zero lone pairs there will not be any distortion in the structure therefore the structure is going to be tetrahedral because of four bond pairs four bond pairs stands for tetrahedral structure so answer is option b in this case now then number of number and the types of bonds present between the carbon atoms in calcium carbide so calcium carbide structure is we can say right like this ca it is going to be c2 that is um, there are triple bond between these two or is it will be ca plus 2 and then carbon atoms 
like this we have this implies here between the two carbon atoms of calcium carbide if there are triple bond is present triple bond implies there should be one sigma bond and remaining two of them are pi bonds hence it will be one sigma bond and then two pi bonds so option is c in this case one sigma and two pi bonds are there so option c we have then the correct order of bond angles among the following molecules the molecules given are ammonia pcl3 and bcl3 the bond angles depend upon the number of lone pairs bond pairs as well as the hybridization of these molecules now when you consider bcl3 boron is undergoing sp2 hybridization and there are no lone pairs on that therefore the angle is going to be 120 degrees when you take the ammonia as well as pcl3 molecule central atoms are undergoing sp3 hybridization but ammonia molecule has one lone pair whereas pcl3 molecule is having two lone pairs now when you have one lone pair the angle gets reduced from tetrahedral angle two lone pairs the angle gets further reduced an angle in ammonia is 107 degrees and therefore pcl3 has even lesser than 107 degrees therefore the option is bcl3 is having bcl3 has 120 degrees ammonia has 107 and pcl3 has even less than 107 because it is having two lone pair of electrons therefore answer is option b we have so depends upon hybridization as well as number of lone pairs and bond pairs which of the following is a paramagnetic in nature which of the following is paramagnetic in nature when you take o2 minus ion here it is having one unpaired electron it has one unpaired it has one unpaired electron therefore that is according to mot theory it is a one unpaired electron means nothing but it is paramagnetic in nature if you see cn minus ion that is cn minus carbon six electrons plus nitrogen seven plus one more we have altogether we have here fourteen electrons here now if you take co that is here six plus eight which is also we have fourteen electrons there now when you take no plus that is seven plus eight but electron is removed here minus one electron which is equal to fourteen all have the even number of electrons therefore they are completely paired up hence uh, they are diamagnetic in nature therefore o2 minus is going to be paramagnetic so answer is option a